Am I the asshole? For leaving my sister in hospital while she had a stillbirth because I had to do my MCAT. My sister MIA and I are usually close but this is really causing some issues. I didn't think I did anything wrong here. But now I don't even know and I'd like some third party insight. This happened in April. Also if anyone's curious I'm 22 and she's 28. MIA had a high risk pregnancy. Placenta previa and some other issues. She eventually had to get a C-section a week earlier than expected. But the baby was stillborn. Which was terrible. I had my MCAT the day after MIA delivered. And she told me before that she wanted me to stay with her. We talked before they took her in and she was a screaming crying mess. I ended up leaving since I had my exam early morning. And I came back to the hospital as soon as I finished. I did hear the awful news that the baby was stillborn before the exam but I didn't go then. So a few days pass and Mia's super pissed at me. Saying I ditched her during the worst time of her life. I told her I was really sorry but I had to do my MCAT. I know she's going through a really difficult time. But she completely went off at me. Saying I could have just done it another day and I thought some test was more important than her and her baby's life. And that I deserve to fail. Mia's still saying I'm selfish and at the least. I could have just gone to the exam directly from the hospital and stayed with her the rest of the time. A lot of extended family know now. And some are saying what I did was terrible. My mom agrees with me. But is saying to just let MIA be because she went through a trauma. Absolutely not the asshole. MCAT prep is grueling. The exam is grueling. Your knowledge was peaking in time for an exam often scheduled a year ahead of time. For you to reschedule could have disrupted your application for this cycle. You were present for your sister the day of the delivery and you returned to her side immediately. After your exam the following day. You needed sleep the night before the exam and left. Did she not have the parents? Boyfriend husband. Best friend to support her. Like others have said, she is grieving and is needing someone to lash out at. And again you are not the asshole. Nah. Your mom is right. You did what you had to do. But it would be best to just give MIA some space to grieve and calm down. Grief and trauma seldom bring out the best in people. So maybe just let things be for a while. Not the asshole you needed to do that test. You being there would not have changed the fact she had a stillborn. Nah. It's not like you went to a Taylor Swift concert. You had something very important you had to deal with. You have your own life and responsibilities and sometimes you can't stop things from happening. Shusha's upset. Understandably. And you can't reason with someone in her position. Just give her time. And for God's sakes do not get upset at her for being upset at you. That will make things worse. My first pregnancy ended in stillbirth. I absolutely needed my sister at the time. Not only but if she had had to take the MCAT. I would have forced her to go. And to do so like you did. I was broken hearted and hurt in a way I didn't know was even possible. But there's no way I would have let her do anything to jeopardize her future set back the timeline of her career. I'm sorry for your loss and I'm sorry your family is taking their emotions out on you. Not the asshole. My first husband was scheduled to take a major test to get into his master's program three days. After his dad died. His family demanded he go on and take the test because it is difficult to reschedule and very expensive. They even pushed the funeral back one day. That is what people who love you and care about your future do. I get you. Your sister. 
and your family are grieving. But your sister is out of line and any flying monkey that gives you problems. Unless they are helping pay for your education. Ignore them. Or ask them to contribute before e-gagging them. Not the asshole. Several people in the comments have outlined how tough it is to cancel or reschedule the MCAT. And what the implications of doing so are, but I didn't see this explained in your original post. So I'm wondering does your sister know this? Does she understand what it could have cost you to stay with her? Either way. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Are you her only source of support? If not, I'm surprised she wasn't telling you to go. I would have not asked my loved one to miss a huge test in most situations. You were there before and after and it didn't change anything for you to go. She might be unreasonable right now because of the grief she's feeling. She might come back around. Not the asshole where were all the other relatives during this emergency. I'm sorry your sister had this experience. I presume she is doing this pregnancy without a partner. There is no mention of him in the post. You have to put your future first and I wish you all the best of luck in your studies. Info was anyone else at the hospital with your sister? Not the asshole you aren't her spouse or her child's other parent. You have your own life to worry about instead of something you can't do anything to change the outcome of. Not the asshole. Shitty situation, and you did your best. Not the asshole. This strikes me as a situation where there are no good choices. I am sorry for your sister's loss but relieved she came through. Good luck with the MCAT and grad school applications. I might have tried calling just to check. But I think it's a wonder you were in a state of mind fit to take them. Another example of weaponizing the word selfish. MIA seems to have had other support. Not the asshole. And all the relatives who think you were wrong for leaving can all themselves why they weren't. There for your sister. Where was the father? The situation sucks all around but if she continues to hold it against you that would be quite unfair. Giving her time to process is probably a good idea. Not the asshole. Neither is she really and I would bet when some time has passed she will see you didn't have much choice and were T choosing to neglect her. It's going to take time. Not the asshole. Your sister is grieving and she is taking out her anger on you. I hope over time she realizes she had an unfair expectation of you. We're not always rational in grief. We want others to suffer with us. But in reality the grief is ours alone to go through. I'm in awe you had the mental capability to take the test. Despite the family trauma. Good for you I hope you did well. Not the asshole. I understand sister is grieving but that isn't an excuse to be an asshole. I would have pulled back and give her space until she has calmed down. You want to be there for family but it should never at the expense of allowing someone to mistreat you. Not the asshole. It's not like you went to a concert. You wrote MCAT. Also. You immediately went to her side after writing the test. No one's the R except your other relatives in this situation Imo. I hope you don't take your sister's word to heart. All the best. Op. Just gone another day. I didn't think this would be so easy to reschedule and the top comments proved me right. Not the asshole. Sure. Her life is a mess right now. But should yours automatically also be? Don't think so. Why are you, as her younger sister, being asked to take on the role of the dad? Where is the dad to support your sister through all this? Or any other supports for her? It is not your responsibility as her younger sister to be her punching bag through this trauma.